Aimlab just had a massive update where they added a built-in sensitivity randomizer. In this guide, I'm going to explain how to use it. Just so you guys understand how huge this is, before this update, if you wanted to use a sense randomizer, you had to download a third-party randomizer, which had a chance of getting you banned from Riot Games and Siege and like any game. So this is really big. Alright, so to find the sense randomizer, what you got to do is go to settings, and then you want to go to controls. And then under controls, you want to scroll all the way down to sensitivity options. Here you want to select advanced. And then you can actually scroll back up right below aim down sights. There's a sensitivity randomizer settings option. Now to enable sensitivity randomization, all you do is turn it on. And then you just click save. And now you have a sense randomizer set up. All right, now I'm going to show you guys what these values actually mean, and I'm going to show you what they mean in a task so I can give you guys an example. And we're going to use a infinite time task. So we'll use a warm up spider shot 180 because this has unlimited time. All right, so now that we're here, what you want to do is go back into your settings. And the first option we're going to look at is the spread. The spread basically determines how much your sense will change by per period of time. The higher it is, the more it'll change by. So if we set it by to three, then check this out. It'll just change a lot. This is me moving my mouse in one continuous sweep. And, it ch and three makes it change a lot. But if we change it to 0 0.1, 0 0.01, then what will happen is... It's really basically the same sense the whole way through. This is just a continuous sweep and it doesn't change much at all. All right, we also have the max multiplier, which basically determines how much greater than your original sense the maximum interval can become. So if you set it to four, then four times your original sense is the maximum this spread will ever make it hit. So the spread determines how quickly it changes. This determines the maximum range and the minimum multiplier is just the minimum and basically just multiply whatever your current sense is by one of these numbers and that's the maximum and minimum number it can become. That's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so the next thing you want to change is your interval. The interval is just how often your sense gets randomized by a number less than or equal to the spread. So 0 0.01 and it's basically constantly changing and 4 and it's almost never changing like every 4 seconds I believe so let me show you the 4, 0.01 just it's just constantly changing now the last setting is smoothing basically what this means is it'll gradually change your sense instead of instantly changing your sense and I'd recommend keeping it on just because I feel like it feels a lot nicer that way and basically, as you can see, my sense doesn't just suddenly change. It changes over a period of time. And that I just feel like that's a lot nicer and easier to work with. Now, the way most people will do it is they'll set their max multiplier to 2 and their minimum multiplier to 0 0.5 so that it'll be between double and half their normal sense. And they'll leave smoothing on. Now, your interval really shouldn't be too low because then it's just like constant and I just don't like the feeling of that. And I, if it's too high, then I just feel like that's too slow, but it should be somewhere in the middle. I don't really think it matters too much where. And if you want to change it to one of these, that's fine. I just don't love the feeling of that. Same with the spread, except if you put the spread to 0 0.01, then you're barely even using a sense randomizer. I really wouldn't do this. And if you put it really high, then that's fine. But I don't love the feeling of that. It, I'd probably put it around one somewhere. And that's how I would set this up. So let's check out what it feels like. So as you can see, it changes somewhat progressively, maybe bump the interval up a little bit. It works pretty well. I like it. So yeah, this is the Sense Randomizer built into AimLab. Check it out. If you like content focused on helping you improve at FPS games, subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you here next.